I'm just trying to put up a pretty backdrop. Why is it so big? That's what she said. Hopefully. possibility that my hair could look any better. I have no hair. Someone help. I also have like a bald spot from where I had those extensions right there. So I have like seven eyelash things hanging on here. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. I went ahead and put on the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in Light Warm. And then for this look, I'm gonna be using some of these products by Urban Decay. I've actually had them on my desk for a little while and I've been wanting to use them. This is Spike. And it's this really pretty like burnt orange, like screams fall. And so does this one, it's called Relish. So we'll spike the relish today. And then in the middle, I think I'm gonna use Brick Toast by Sugar Pill. It's this really pretty kind of like duochrome loose eyeshadow. I just woke up and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I probably should have eaten breakfast before I sat down to film this, but you ever get a hair up your ass, like do something and like, you know, you should do something else first, but you're like, nah, it's fine. You ever get a hair up your ass? Okay, I have no real blending out shade going on over here, so wish me luck. I'm just gonna go in with this guy first, and I think I'm gonna do kind of like a halo eye. I thought it would be fun to do a little spin on all the natural looks that everyone's been doing for spring, because I had every intention of sitting down and kind of doing a natural look, but then I saw these on my desk, and they were speaking to me. I've been wanting to say this in this video all morning, so here we go. I bought this like really cool, cute ass teepee type of little thing. Like it's just supposed to be like kitschy and cute. Um, I know it's a teepee. I know I should probably, I'm not probably not gonna put it on the internet because people are gonna be upset, but I just thought it was cute. And it is uh, going in my little animal area. I saw someone decorate their little rabbit room with one and I was gonna put like cute little pretty lights on it. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So I wake up and I come upstairs this morning and I don't know when Leo had the time to do this shit because he's been with me all morning and all last night, I thought. Literally was spent time in his kennel. I rescued an iguana last night that's in really, really bad shape. Um, I put that on my animal Instagram. If you're new here, I love animals more than people. Sorry about it. <laughs> um, and I rescued an iguana last night. Anyway, so while those people were here, Leo was in his kennel because he would just stress the iguana out and he's just kind of barks at people. Like that's his way of saying hello, which is kind of annoying. This eye always goes so great. And then this one is just like, no, I'm not gonna work for you today. So try again later, bitch. Anyways, there's a fucking puddle of pee in the walkway over there. And I have no paper towels, which is like essential to animal care. <laughs> Somehow Leo found time to piss on the bottom of my brand new little decoration for my rabbit area that I haven't even had a chance to put up yet. He peed on the bottom of it. And now there's a puddle of pee in my hallway right there because I don't have any paper towels to clean it up. What am I supposed to clean up the pee with? Like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of winging this out more than I usually do. You know what's really annoying about doing eyeshadow these days as you get older is that this eyelid actually droops down a little bit more. Now they're more even, no, there. It droops down at the slightest bit more than the other one. And it always just fucks with my emotions when I'm doing my makeup. I'm like, wait, is it even, no, yep, yeah, uh. And then I have a freckle over here too that always throws me off. Anyways, first world problems, not a big deal. I'll get over it. I'm just gonna kind of blow this out and pull it out to the side. Just remember that I'm doing an Instagram live with someone today and I was gonna wait to do my makeup closer to that time so it's nice and fresh, but shit, what time is it? What year is it? Time isn't real. If you watch the Instagram live on my, in my pet channel today, you know kinda who's watching my pets now and kinda some drama that I wasn't actually planning on sharing. And that person just texted me like they're really like the longest text Okay, I'm gonna try and make sure this is blended out as like I'm happy with before I go in with a darker shade, but I'm gonna work on the inside a little bit too. So I'm taking a smaller brush. This is a Luxie brush. I absolutely love Luxie brushes. I, this is a small tapered blending brush. They're really good quality. Um, they're nice and soft 
and I have a discount code for them if you ever find yourself on their website and want to buy something. I've also washed this thing a million times and the wood on it is like, and the paint is like still pretty good. You know what I look like right now? You know what my hair is reminding me of? Just like this and this look. Do you guys remember the, like, when, um, gosh, what's his freaking name? Why can't I remember his name? Anyways, he's in Back to the Future and stuff. He's in Dennis the Menace and he's like the crook and he like opens the can of beans with like a knife and stuff. Like that's what my hair looks like right now and I'm ashamed of that. <laughs> What is there to do right now, except sit inside and eat your favorite foods. Last night was Cinco de Mayo and I was planning on like making tacos and making like this Mexican soup that I've saved on Pinterest for what feels like 10 and a half years. And I wanted to make that, I got all the stuff for it. And then I ended up um, dealing with the uh, rescue. So it's fine. I would have much rather done that, but would have been nice to enjoy Cinco de Mayo a little bit more too. Okay, let's go in now with the darker red. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda keep, try and keep this like close to the eye in the crease just to give this some depth. Like immediately you can already see that. And that first lay down of that, I'm gonna blend it out so that it's easier to keep building up without creating a harsh line. Oh my gosh, listen to me, you guys. This is like an actual old school tutorial. You guys are all just so good at makeup these days. Like nobody needs you to needs to tell you how to put makeup on. Like y'all are like makeup artists. I see you. I see you tagging my photos. I know you are. So I need to record a little video about my boob job stuff. Uh, one of my last videos that I uploaded, I kind of talked about all of that. And um, we have another change, another wrench thrown in my plan. I wasn't planning on being out in um, San Diego till like after my motorcycle course, which is on May 12th. I now have to go in and take a Corona test before I get my boobs done. And that's gonna be on the 13th. And I'm like, and they can't change it at all. I'm like, dude, I wasn't even planning on being in California. The more time I can spend at home and like get ready for the fact that I'm gonna be like out of commission for a few weeks would be ideal. But it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get that luxury. So I'm freaking out a little bit about that. Nick's super stoked. He's like, oh sick, you're gonna be in town early. I'm like, yeah, but you're not really thinking about any of the other stuff. Like I've got a pre-film, I've got meetings, I've got animals. So I'm gonna take the sugar pill, that really pretty, oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, please don't drop this, Kristen. It's like pilled up in there. I'm not really sure why it did that, but let me just like swatch this. Swatch that. It almost feels like there's oil in it, kinda, you know? like. Oh, that's so pretty though. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty, what is this? Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer Base. Holy shit, could we have made the name any longer? Honestly though, I feel for them because <laughs> owning a brand is like every name has like been taken. It's like, are you serious? Like you trademarked that and you don't even use it. Thanks for that, it's okay, bye. I'm gonna take this little Wet n Wild P15 brush and get a little bit of that on my brush, not sopping wet, but a little bit. I'm gonna just place this where I'd like to put that and I'm kind of concentrating most of it on my lid because I don't want it to be too much glitter up here, but I'm trying to kind of blend this into it a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to kind of go back in after. I'm gonna take this um, dark purple dose of colors I don't know if you can kind of see, I did a little swatch right there. It's like a dark maroon kind of. Um, the shade is called Crushed. And I'm just going to add this here. And I think just on the other side of our glitter. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do all the way across. I'm gonna just smoke it out a tiny bit. Why are my eyes so sensitive today? Oh my gosh, it's like hurting when I'm doing that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two because I'm too lazy to go get my actual color. Um, and I put some fake tanner on yesterday, so that's definitely too dark. This is definitely too pale. So this is the Dermablend Flawless Creator. I started using this again. A few months ago, it was starting to get a little oily on my skin after about two and a half hours or so, even though I previously loved it. Like your skin is always changing, it's so bizarre. But I just used this the other day and I had it on for like seven hours and it looked awesome. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this together on my palette and, to, and my face until it's the shade that I want it to be. The only qualm that I do have with this is these droppers rarely work. Like it would be really sick if they just worked. I'm gonna use the Tatcha, um, what is this called? The Can Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. I really love the way this stuff smells and that's one of the main reasons why I use it, but it also kind of fills in kind of some of the larger pore areas that kind of some foundation tends to kind of sit over and then your pores look like little mini craters. And I like to put it under my eyes too. Okay, I'm feeling like that's working even though it looks a little dark. It matches my chest, I think. <laughs> you guys know how great I am at color matching, right? Oh boy. One of the cool things that I find with this foundation too is that it doesn't set immediately. Like you have to powder it and stuff. So if your color is off and you happen to have like other colors of this, like other shades of this foundation, you can actually mix them into it and it allows you to kind of work it into the existing foundation that you've got going. Also, it's a really good foundation if you're wanting to do um, cream contour. One of my pet peeves is when people's foundations, I mean, you can't really help this, even I can't really help this sometimes, is super dark and then their hairline or just behind their hairline is like pale as shit like that. Like I really try and take what's left over on my brush and like get that into those areas so that you can't tell quite as much. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same uh, concealer that I use on my eyelids under my eyes, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm trying to zen out during quarantine, okay? This has actually been really nice to just like sit down and do makeup and not really have to go anywhere because a lot of the times I feel rushed because I try and squeeze out every second of every day and I wait till I'll literally do the math and I'll be like, okay, I need to be there at three. So I'll map it and I'll be like, okay, it's gonna take me 10 minutes to get there. So I need to leave at this time and then I need literally an hour and 45 minutes and seven seconds to get ready. And so I'll wait till that last minute, but then of course like something will go wrong and I'm like, okay, I didn't plan for that. And then it just takes way longer. And then I end up with rushed makeup that I don't really like. Like I wouldn't even take a selfie because I'm like, ugh, no, I didn't even try. Happy to be here though. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> oh, I love this freaking foundation. Or this concealer brush, like literally my new favorite. I need 17 of them. What is this? This is a, oh my gosh, it's a Luxie brush, airbrush concealer. I'm gonna use a little bit of cream bronzer. This is the light shade in Tan Tour by um, Huda Beauty. I absolutely love this stuff. So I just take like a little brush and I typically will only use this with a foundation that I know it's going to play well with and kind of melt into. And then I kind of just dab it into place and diffuse it out. I always notice that this makes it easier. Like see how easy that was to just like blend out, it just melts in. Dab away. I have a meeting right now, what? I do not. What happened over here? This definitely has like some oil in it or something. Dude, it like bled into my eyeshadow over there. What the heck? Okay, you know what? I need to lightly powder over that, I feel like. Is that gonna keep moving all day? Like, I can't have that. So I'm gonna just take like the lightest bit and just kind of place it right over. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Uh, this is an, another Luxie amazing brush. I think JD Wadey made this one. It's for nose contouring. Yep, she did. It's on here. It's a 182. See how like, it didn't even hardly blend it and it's already like blended. had a new uh, TV console delivered and it's on my doorstep right now and I it's about to storm, it's all windy and stuff and I legit can't lift it up to bring it into my house. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but like, uh, do you have to be like Superman to work for FedEx or UPS? Because I legit cannot get it inside my house. Okay, so the setting powder that I'm using is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder by uh, Hourglass. 
and I'm just gonna pop that in my eyes and all over my face. Actually, you know what? Before I powder my whole face, I'm gonna use this uh, Buxom. Uh, it's kind of like a liquid highlight. It's called Divine Goddess, and it has these three really beautiful shades. I'm gonna use the lightest one at the top here, and I'm just gonna dab this on. I've been using this lately when I want kind of just like a natural glow. Someone told me on live the other day that I have a big forehead. I was like, that is one I've never heard. Okay, I guess I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild one. Um, I need more like this. Do you guys have any favorites of these? This is the Wet n Wild to Reflect Shimmer Palette. And um, I've been liking bronzers lately because it kind of just blends into the blush or I'll just do this instead of blush. I'm actually gonna dip into this one at the same time. This is um, Indecent by Urban Decay and I'm just gonna pop that there too. Okay, so I'm back. I did my eyebrows. The eyebrow, I did a tutorial actually on my eyebrows, which is one reason I did them off camera too, just so this video wouldn't be even longer. So if you wanna see that, it'll be out soon. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Cosmetics Nude Retractable Lip Liner. I'm gonna just fill in my entire lip with this. And then I'm gonna try one lip product that I don't know if I'm gonna like today, but we're gonna find out. I'm just gonna overdraw. Every time I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone and do like a different shade lip than, you know, the normal nude. And like, you're like, oh, I should do like a burnt orange or something. I just get scared at the end. <laughs> I don't have a good burnt orange, actually. I'm like looking around. Do you guys know of a good burnt orange lipstick? Okay, so I'm gonna put on the Urban Decay Moon Dust Lipstick. This one is a little bit glittery and I thought it was kind of a similar shade to what I have going on here. So I thought it might be kind of nice. This one's in Rising. And I'm just gonna put this over top. See what this looks like just by itself. So it's got a little bit of color. It's just a little hard to tell on me since I already put lipstick on. So um, this eyeshadow continues to crease and I, I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer because I've used it before and it's never done this and just feeling this stuff, it feels kind of greasy. So I'm gonna have to go on their website and figure out what the deal is with this. I don't like that and I don't think I'll ever use this again. I might send them a DM and ask them what the deal is with it because I really don't like that. You know what, I have another one of these that I just saw in my little room right there. Let me grab it. Okay, so this is like a bright silver and it actually looks less balled up than this one. Holy, oh my gosh, that's a freaking amazing. It doesn't, this doesn't feel oily to me at all. I don't know, this is kind of weird how it got like, I don't, I'm so, I don't have nothing to say. I have no idea. Thank you guys for watching my little kind of gothic-y, this isn't really gothic, but I had to call it something, you know? Spring look, it's kind of more like a fall look, but it's the weather has been very fall-like here in Nashville lately, so we're going with it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Again, this eyebrow tutorial video on all of the products that I use to get my brows to look like this and to, catf cat and to catfish people with my eyebrows will be up very soon. So we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.